disabilities. The media, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good evening. How wonderful it is to be in the Southland. That is for those of us who come from up north. <laughs> as soon as you hit uh, Claxon Bay, you feel a refreshing breeze, and then it gets cooler and cooler as you come up. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to welcome you this evening to our town hall meeting. This town hall meeting is advertised really as an effort and an initiative to bring together our civil society partners and communities for engagement in discussions in matters pertaining to us. And I'll expand a little bit on, on it. Our brothers and sisters in, this, in civil society and you members of the community who are here this evening must know, whether you are aware of it or not, that a main plank of good governance is civil society. And yes, we have elected members of parliament in the parliament, but maybe that's one of our shortcomings that we don't pay much attention to the, the effort, the energy, the contribution that civil society can make to our good governance. I, make, I made mention at another place last week that in other countries, civil society members form part of the parliament. Why aren't we in Trinidad, why don't we have a civil society member in the Senate, for example? We have independent senators, we have government senators, and so on. We need an independent voice, a truly independent voice. We need a voice of the community. We need the voice of you, the citizens. Today is the second town hall meeting we are having in our series. The first one was held in Port of Spain and was a resounding success as we had discussions and debates by our various speakers. Trinidad and Tobago Transparency Institute, that's the, the chapter of TI that I lead at this time, has been at the forefront, forefront of engaging and encouraging civil society growth and development in Trinidad and Tobago. Some years ago, we developed with funding from the Commonwealth Foundation a civil society toolkit to assist us in the governance of our own organization, civil society organizations. And each year we have sessions, seminars, where we share the best practices from that toolkit. We have also recently engaged in a very important project with funding from TI and the Canadian government called IMPACT. This particular project encourages us, mandates us to work with the Auditor General, with the Minister, Ministry of Finance, control of accounts, and so on, where we look and we are looking at the auditor's report for 2014, 2015, identifying the, the deficiencies, the issues raised by the Auditor General, which are impacting on us in civil society and in all communities, and trying to work with these very senior public servants to get remedies and solutions to plot the way forward out of the morass that, we're, that we are in. I'm pleased to say that we had a meeting last week with permanent secretaries and present were such people like the head of the public service and several eminent permanent secretaries. You may know us from our flagship event during the year, this, the launch of the Corruption Perception Index, the CPI, which happened last week. And I invite you and encourage you to have a look at the results because it may also encourage you to pay a little more attention to what we are trying to encourage and foster with our civil society organization partners, some of whom are here with us this evening. We have our own homegrown advocacy and legal advice center, which is a legal aid clinic attached to the local transparency chapter, where we provide free legal advice to anyone who has an issue, a problem, a challenge with governance or corruption. Free legal advice. We are a specialist legal aid clinic out of the Hugh Wooding Law School, and we have been functioning there like that for a couple of years. I make the point that it is essential that we recognize our role as civil society organizations the communities we work out of, the, the people that we work with must understand that we are a main plank 
in the good governance of our country. We are a main plank in ensuring the good governance of our communities, of our country. And I encourage you to join with TTTI and any of our civil society partners, their organizations, to ensure that we have a good, we have a better, and perhaps the best country that we can think about. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this evening's session.